Hello, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to episode 19 of the Maplewood Legacy. We are actually starting off today's episode with Ethan who is at work this morning. I thought it would be nice to spend a day with Ethan at work as we haven't really explored his career too much during this let's play. So I thought today we would come to work with him and we could play at work with him for a bit. Today is actually Amaya and Ethan's anniversary. It's their anniversary of when they first got into a relationship. Obviously this isn't their first anniversary as they have been together for quite a few years now. They have two children together as well but they did get together in the winter time so it is their anniversary today and they're going to be heading out together this evening which is going to be a lot of fun so we're going to be celebrating that with them today too. I wanted to come to work with Ethan today too as I need to get him to do a work task, a promotion task, to successfully diagnose and treat a patient so I thought I would come to work with him today and do that as he is looking to get a promotion he's been feeling quite tense recently as he hasn't had one recently and one of his milestones is also to reach the top of a career as well alongside actually getting married which is exciting I did actually get a comment in at the last episode asking if there is going to be a wedding soon for Amaya and Ethan and I can't remember if I did mention it or not in another episode but just in case I didn't you will all be excited to know that after winter time after Christmas in the new year these guys are going to get married in the late spring so we're going to be having a wedding then which is very exciting so I'm really looking forward to that I still have to decide what kind of wedding I want these guys to have as I'm not too sure just yet Ethan is nearly there with finding out a diagnosis for a patient he is treating. First I'm going to get him to log the samples on the PC and then I think we will be able to diagnose the patient hopefully. We don't have too long left of the work day. I'm not going to get Ethan to stay late as himself and Amaya are going to be going out. So I'm hoping that we can get all of this done today. Amaya is at home today. She's working from home today and also looking after Isaac who I have a lot to update you on. He's been doing Doing really well with his milestones and also he's going to be aging up into a toddler soon which is exciting. We have diagnosed the patient so I hope now that we are able to treat them. Treat patient, treat bloaty head with shot. So hopefully this will tick off the promotion task and today if we carry on at getting these tasks up we will be able. Just as I was saying that the treatment was ineffective and has sent the sim to sleep. That has made our performance go down. I'm not too sure what we're going to have to do now but it's Says, Jocelyn doesn't appear to be any better following this shot. Ethan's diagnosis was incorrect and will impact his job performance. So it's going to impact his job performance which isn't great and now I need to try and figure out how to treat this sim a bit better. I think I'm going to have to come back to the sim as they're currently asleep and I think we are going to have to come over and try and diagnose another patient. Let's do this sim over here. First we will scan body and also swab for sample as well. We'll check their ears too. I'm gonna keep checking everything with this patient just so then we definitely can get a good diagnosis as I don't want this to impact his work performance anymore. We now have a good enough examination data so I think that we are gonna do one more thing. We're gonna perform a treadmill test. So we will refer for a treadmill test and hopefully that will work. I'm still getting used to the doctor career. I don't use it too often. I don't think I've ever really got this far in the career either. So all of this is quite new to me. After more testing, I think that we are now going to be okay with Ethan doing this diagnosis. We now have a guaranteed diagnosis, bloaty head. So I think now we're going to be all good and we'll be able to treat this patient before we have to head home. We managed to cure the patient. There we go. And that is ticked off our promotion tasks. We did it just in time. So I think I'm going to get Ethan to just clean up for the day and clean up some of the rooms, make some of the beds and throw away some of the trash as we're gonna have to head home soon there's no point at doing any more tests today even though that work day went wrong to begin with Ethan ended it on a success which is good it's now the end of Ethan's work day though he made 510 simoleons which is great but we're gonna head home with him now and we can catch up with him when he does arrive and catch up with all the rest of the family too I have just arrived home with Ethan. I'm going to get him to go and take a quick shower and get himself all dressed ready to head out with Amaya. And of course, when I arrive home, Oscar is playing on his monkey bars. What else would he be doing with his time? <laughs> he's getting really good on the monkey bars now. As you can see, he's doing loads of different tricks and stuff. 
As for Oscar's skills, they have increased a bit as I've been playing off camera with this family a little bit. And Oscar's social skill is level 9, which is crazy. I can't believe how high his social and motor skill is. It is crazy. Compared to his mental skill, which is still level 1 and creativity still level 2, I do not know how he's got these skills up so fast, but clearly he is a lot more of an active sim. He prefers to do a lot more hands-on activities than he is academic. So I love that for Oscar. I'm gonna let him continue playing on his monkey bus for now. As for Maya, she is in here. I'm gonna get her to come out the bathroom. She's gonna come and say goodbye to Isaac and also try and say goodbye to Oscar, but he's so preoccupied with playing right now. As I'm gonna get them to go in a second, Amy is gonna be babysitting them this evening and I think Poppy is gonna come over as well. A quick update on Isaac. He has unlocked some more milestones. He can creep now and he's getting close to learning how to crawl, which is good. He He's unlocked a couple more fine motor skills too, but he's going to be aging up very, very soon to a toddler. I'm not too sure yet what kind of toddler he's going to be, but I can't wait to see what he's going to look like and what we're going to get up to with him. However, it is beginning to get late now, so I'm going to go ahead and let Amaya and Ethan travel to where they're going to be heading to this evening. I'm going to get Ethan to come down here and ask on date, as he wants to schedule a date, so I'm going to tick that off for him and he's going to come down and just probably be a bit cheesy about it and even though they both know that they're going out together I think he's gonna ask her out and just be like may I take you on a date this evening <laughs> so yeah they're gonna get going and we'll catch up with them when they do arrive these two have now arrived at their destination. They have come to Newcrest. They've driven out of Evergreen Harbour into the city and it's also snowing here which is really nice. As it's winter time and to get them in the winter fest spirit they have come to this ice rink. Unfortunately there's no other sims here. I don't know if any other sims are going to show up. It's just them for now. I did get this lot off of the gallery. I will put the crater ID in the description if you would like to download this ice rink lot as well. But I thought it would be really nice for them to come ice skating as their first day was rollerblading and it is winter time so instead of rollerblading they did decide to do ice skating instead but they've taken inspiration from their first date together which is really cute. Before they do some ice skating, I'm going to get them to grab some dinner. They're both very hungry, so they're going to grab a pizza slice each and come and sit down and eat that. For their date, they also took inspiration from the time they went to the Winterfest market together. You may remember that episode. It was a very early episode in the series. They've just decided to go back to the past and do a date that reminds them of when they first got together, before they had Oscar and Isaac, before they were in engaged. I think it is time though that we do some ice skating so I'm gonna get them to come and do that. We can invite Amaya to skate and these two are actually very good skaters. <laughs> They've done a lot of practice in the past so they're actually quite good. Ethan can actually perform a skating routine and practice tricks and I think Amaya can do the same too. Maybe I should get them to perform a skating routine together. That could be a lot of fun. But as you can see they both skate around quite quick. Amaya's gonna skate around and practice some tricks and and I think she's going to be like, Ethan, watch this. She's going to kind of show off a bit. And they're just going to be having a bit of a laugh about it, which is really funny. I like the idea that she used to ice skate in Mount Komarebi when she was a child. So she has a lot of practice from her child and teenage years, which is quite cute. It would be so cute if your sims could skate around together, actually skate together. But unfortunately, they can't. I thought that they could actually perform a skating routine together, but I don't think they can do that either. If they can, though, please let me know because I vividly remember seeing it in the seasons trailer when seasons did first drop but I've never been able to actually try the skating routine but these two are getting into the winter fest spirit it is winter time now so the family are going to be doing lots of different winter activities together I think that Amaya is definitely going to want to take Oscar ice skating unfortunately Isaac won't be able to join but one day as he gets older he'll be able to join in with activities like that I think though I'm going to get them to jump off and 
before they do head on back home. I would like them to do one more thing. I'm going to get Amaya to come over here. I'm going to get Ethan to do a kiss under the mistletoe kiss. I'm just going to get him to be a bit cheesy. I will get him to hold Amaya's hand and just be a little bit romantic, I think. Amaya and Ethan are always quite romantic with each other. They have a very, very strong relationship. Before they head home, though, I'm going to get them to come and sit together over here. We're going to light a little bonfire, a campfire, and they can sit and talk and just try and warm up a bit as it's freezing. After some seat rearrangements, Amaya has lit the fire. The day is going to end very soon, but I'm just going to get these two to sit together and just do a little bit of a flirt together, but also just have a chat in general. And I think they don't actually get a lot of time to just sit down and talk together. So I think that I'm going to get them to do that. I think they're going to talk about their children a bit as well. And I think whilst they are sitting here too, they're going to have a bit more of a chat about something that they've been talking about for a while now. They are talking about this conversation and this topic almost on a daily at the moment. And that topic of conversation is having another baby. Amaya has wanted to have another child for a while now and I think Ethan definitely is on board with it. I think though whilst they're sitting here tonight, they are going to make the final decision on if they are going to have another child or not. And I think that decision that they are going to make is that they are both going to come to an agreement on it and I think they are going to begin trying for another baby which is very exciting. This is going to be their last baby though. They don't want any more children after this. So I think that Amaya and Ethan are going to hope that Amaya can fall pregnant and they can have one more baby. Another sibling for Oscar and Isaac too. But after this they aren't going to be having any more children. I think they are going to stop at three. But I'm looking forward to these guys having one more baby. Amaya having one more pregnancy and all of their kids are very close in age as well which is very cute so I'm hoping soon we will see a pregnant Amaya. These guys have now arrived home. They're going to jump into bed, but they are feeling very flirty and very excited about their conversation that they had. So I think they are just going to go ahead and they are going to go ahead and try for a baby straight away. So I'm going to let them do that. Meanwhile, Oscar and Isaac luckily is asleep. Isaac is actually a very good infant when it comes to sleeping. He doesn't have too much trouble with that, but I'm going to let everyone get some rest now and we will catch up with everyone again in the morning. It is now the next morning and everyone is beginning to wake up. Oscar is up here awake. He's dressed for today. He has school today. He's just going downstairs to fill up Molly and Theo's food bowls so then they can have their breakfast. Here comes Amaya too. She is just going to come and make breakfast for everyone. Today we are actually going to be heading to school with Oscar. I have a mod in the go to school mod which allows you to head to school with your children's sims. So today we're going to be heading to school with Oscar which I'm really excited about and I think Amaya is just gonna say I hope you enjoy school today you know just gonna ask him what you're gonna get up to today at school do you know I think as well she's probably gonna ask Isaac have you done your homework and he has not done his homework he always gets too distracted with playing outside and things like that I don't know if he would lie though I don't know if he would say oh yeah mum I've done it even though he hasn't or if he would be honest I think he's gonna say I did a little bit of it mum I didn't get to finish it all though so I think he's gonna kind of lie. <laughs> also I do want to let you guys know that Oscar has been promoted in scout as well. He's now level 3 scout which is great. He has a scout meeting again on the weekend. However it's nearly time we go so I think he's gonna say bye to everybody and we are able to join him. So we are gonna meet up with Oscar again when he does arrive at his elementary school. Oscar has now arrived at school. It's a very gloomy day today. It's very dark, cold and gloomy. But Oscar is running in just there and this is his elementary school. It's a very big elementary school for sure. There's lots of different activities to do here and lots of rooms as well. I'm still getting used to this mod. It's a little bit glitchy. So I'm hoping that we'll still be able to have a good day with Oscar today. Look who has also just run through the gate. It's a Poppy. She's arrived at school today too. She's gonna come and say hello to Oscar they're gonna do their fist bump. Oscar's saying hi good morning he's probably gonna go it's really cold outside today isn't it I'm freezing. I'm gonna get Poppy to get changed into her clothes as she's inside now but there is a few more students around here looks like this kid has come over to talk this is another one of Oscar's friends. I can probably imagine that Isaac is quite close to a lot of people in school as he 
is a very, very sociable person. He probably talks to a lot of people. Free time has ended now though and everyone is coming in for art class this morning. So they're all going to take a seat and hopefully the teacher will be in soon. For some reason, I have this really weird glitch with my kids sims dancing in class like this. I really don't know what this is all about. <laughs> if anyone does have this mod and could help me out with this, it would be very much appreciated because I'm not too sure what's going on. They seem to be going to the other classroom when the teacher is in here teaching, so I may need to fix this mod a bit. Since it is art class though, I'm going to get these guys to head inside and they're going to do some crafts. These guys are just currently messing about outside. <laughs> but they're going to come and sit in here and all do some crafts together. They're going to make some stuff. Oscar is going to make some Winterfest crafts and I think that Poppy is going to make a Winterfest picture. So they're going to sit and do that. There's also another student over here as well. Class doesn't end in a second but I am going to get them to finish their pictures before they do head to lunch. But Oscar is also just chatting with Poppy. Poppy's probably saying, hey, can you pass me the glue, please? What picture are you making? I'm going to make a picture all to do with Christmas. I can't wait for Christmas this year. I'm so excited. And Oscar's probably saying, me too. I can't wait. Mum said that she's going to take me ice skating this year. Maybe you can come with us. And I think that he's also going to say to his other friends, hey, would you guys like to come ice skating too? Looks like this picture's finished. Someone drew a rainbow. This sim over here's finished too. She made some cards with a bit of a gardening theme that's really cute everyone else is finishing up but these guys are all heading to lunch but these two are still in here taking their time they are nearly finished now though they're looking great oscar has drew some snowmen some snowflakes a christmas tree and it looks like poppy has drew santa and just some more christmasy pictures there and there we go oscar is all finished i think he's gonna put these in his backpack if he had one on <laughs> and he's gonna keep them and be like i'm gonna take them home However, I think it is time for lunch now. So I'm going to get them to both come and order some lunch. I'll get them to order a junior lunch each. And they can sit together and eat that. Oscar is going to come and grab a seat at this table with everyone else. And I think Poppy is also going to join as well. Everyone's sitting and talking. I think that I'm going to get Oscar to tell everyone a funny story. He's going to tell a goofy story to the table and probably make everyone laugh. <laughs> they have a bit of a longer lunch today so they're gonna sit and talk and then they're gonna head into the library and do some reading afterwards. Poppy is over here talking to these girls. I like the idea that they are just one big friendship group. It's time for the next class so they're heading into the computer slash library area. They're working on the computer today and Oscar has to study flower arranging. I think he would kind of be sitting there not really enjoying this part of the day as I don't think he'd be very interested in flower arranging but maybe they're looking at gardening and things like that at school right now. The teacher is sitting opposite Oscar but this kid here is playing video games. He's probably thinking that the teacher can't see him so he's fine but Oscar is actually doing his work. But the day is nearly up we have 20 minutes left of the day and then oscar can head on home i'm not too sure where poppy went she was playing chess with another kid over there she may have started to get ready to head at home i think as they're sitting there as well talking i think that a lot of his friends live quite close to him in evergreen harbour so i think that he is probably gonna say to them all hey if the weather's nice when we get home would you guys like to all come to the park and we can play basketball together so i think that may be a plan depending on if it's snowing when we get home or not or if it's super cold if it's still okay there though and the weather's all good then we can maybe head out with oscar to the park and they can play for a bit however the day has now ended it's time to head on home oscar did good today at school though he turned in some good work and took some good notes today which is good and he is now a b student as well which is great but oscar is going to head on home now the weather is looking so nice here and potentially he's going to go ahead and play some basketball with his friends when he does arrive Arrive. Oscar has now arrived home. He's come walking into the kitchen. Maya and Isaac are out here. And it looks like Ethan has just arrived home too. I think Isaac is going to come in and be like, hey mum. I think Maya is going to say, hey Oscar, how are you? Did you have a good day at school? What did you get up to today? And I think he's going to show his mum his crafts and be like, look mum, I made these. And she's going to say, oh, we should put them up in the kitchen when we put up the Christmas decorations. What do you think? And I think Oscar is going to say, yeah, that would be good. Ethan is also 
here as well. I got him to just get changed. He just arrived home from work. And Oscar has just maxed his social skill already. That is pretty crazy. I can't believe that. I don't know how his mental skill isn't getting up. I'm really confused by that. But his social is level 10. I definitely think that Oscar is going to have to do something to do with the social side of things when he's older because his skills in social are crazy high. He hasn't actually brought up to his mum yet about going to play basketball. I think he's going to bring it up now and just say, hey mum, would it be okay if I go to the park with my friends tonight so I can play basketball? I think Amira is going to say, oh, not, not tonight. It's getting quite late now and you still need to have your dinner and you should probably do some homework, right? Also, I'm not too sure about you walking there by yourself just yet as the park is still quite far away from our house and it has just started raining anyway so I don't think Oscar would want to go in the rain. Oscar is feeling a bit angry about that. I think Oscar isn't going to really take this news that lightly. He's going to be like, please mum, can I go please? And I think Amaya is just going to re-explain to him again why he can't go and he's like, but I promised my friends I said I would go. I said I'd go to play basketball with them. I think Amaya is just going to try and kind of explain to him why he can't go and I think she's also going to say it's it's dark now, it's raining. You can go another time though, okay? I think that Oscar is going to kind of walk upstairs. I don't think he's going to be mean to his mum as such but I think he's going to kind of give her a little bit of the cold shoulder and he's just going to walk off to go and play in his room instead but he's definitely not very happy with Amaya's choice as to why he can't go but it is 7pm and he definitely cannot walk to the park by himself in the dark and the rain so instead he's just going to kind of sit in his room and play with his void critters a little bit annoyed at his mum that he couldn't go and play basketball in the park. Amaya on the other hand is downstairs and making some dinner for everyone and I think she's kind of feeling a little bit guilty in her head. Amaya is a very sweet person and I feel like she wouldn't want to make anyone upset, especially her children. She is quite lenient with Oscar a lot of the time but I think sometimes she does try and put her foot down a bit but I think she is just feeling a little bit bad and I think she's just a little bit upset that Oscar was upset about the situation. But Amaya did make a really nice soup to warm everyone up. It's got vegetables in it and chicken and it looks super tasty. So here comes Ethan and they are going to all come and grab some food so Amaya is going to call everyone to meal and they are going to sit down and enjoy some dinner all together this evening. However, that is where I'm going to be ending today's episode. I really hope that you did enjoy it. We did a lot of work and school related things in today's episode with a little bit of a break in between with Amaya and Ethan's day to the ice rink, which was really cute. And also they did talk about their decision to have another baby. But altogether, it was a really nice episode and it was really nice to catch up with the family again. I've been so caught up with other Let's Plays and other episodes of different series at the moment that I have been uploading or posting Maplewood that often so I'm happy to get a video out of Maplewood for you guys and it's just been really nice to play with the family again but other than that thank you so much for watching today's episode I really hope that you did enjoy I hope that you have a great rest of your day and I will see you again very soon bye